Hey everybody, Tom here again playing Kerbal Space Program. Once again, having fun with the new robotic parts in the Breaking Ground expansion. And today I'm building an A-10 Warthog, one of the most popular planes out there among enthusiasts as far as I can tell. And today this design has a stock GAU 8A Avenger 30mm autocannon. So I posted a screenshot of this thing a few days ago and everybody was asking how does the cannon work? How did you build it? So I'm going to show you that today with an overview of the build, uh, go into the details of the cannon specifically, and then we'll watch this thing fly and shoot the Space Center taking close air support passes, narrowly missing, and then trying to land on top of the Space Center at the tail end of the video. The A-10 is an iconic aircraft with its twin turbofan design centered around the autocannon on the nose. It's been around since the 1970s, and its lifespan has recently been extended by the United States Congress into the late 2030s. That means the A-10 will likely have a service lifespan approaching 55 years. That's crazy, but really speaks to the effectiveness of the design and its continued importance on the battlefield in the role of close air support. But if you're still watching after all that history, you're probably wondering how did I build the cannon and how does it work? Let's take a look. The key element of the cannon is an octagonal strut and everything else is attached to that. The rotor spins the barrels, which are actually Communitron 16S antennas surrounded by thermometers. And yes, for you aficionados out there, the cannon actually has seven barrels in real life but I wasn't about to sink more of my life into manually aligning seven barrels symmetrically when the automatic radial symmetry gives you eight. So you get a bonus barrel in this design, isn't that cool? And now that we've pulled the antennas and thermometers aside, you can see there are two spark engines overlaid on top of each other. One of these engines produces the muzzle flash and the other is automatically rapidly toggled on and off by a cal controller which produces the firing sound effect. And now I'm attaching fuel lines to the engines that will allow them to fire. The body of the craft is filled with liquid fuel while there is oxidizer in the little fuel tanks on the wings. So you need liquid fuel and oxidizer for the spark engines to fire. The oxidizer's in those little fuel tank attachments which makes it look more A-10-ish, like it's a fully loaded aircraft ready to fight. The key to the design and the thing that makes all these parts work together to mimic the firing action of the autocannon is the cal controller and a carefully crafted firing sequence. The sequence is 4.4 seconds long where the first half is idle time which allows you to pause the controller loop to fire individual bursts while the second half of the sequence fires up the Juno engine to get a good barrel spinning noise going engages the rotor motor to spin the barrel, toggles one spark engine to produce the muzzle flash, and rapidly toggles the second spark engine to produce the sound effect of the iconic <laughs> So now I've loaded up the completed craft and we'll take it out on the runway, open up the cal controller, I'm going to expand the controller editor so that we can see the firing action in real time with a little bit more detail. To fire the cannon, I have the CAL controller wired up to action groups 1, 2, or 3, you can take your pick, to toggle play on the firing loop. So if you tap any of those action groups, the cannon will just keep firing, which you see here, which is pretty fun. But if you want to make a single control burst, you can tap the action group again during the idle time of the sequence where everything is spun down, and then fire it up again when you're ready to take the next burst. There's not much more to it than that. That's pretty much how the autocannon works. Just hit the action group and go. The A-10 itself is also super fun to fly, and if you watch through the tail end of the video, you'll see a few of my attempts to make a super short landing on the top of the space center. As always, remember to like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already already a subscriber thanks for your support it's very much appreciated and now please enjoy a montage of excessive burst firing from the A-10. 